Hello guys, welcome to Millionaire by 25. Hope you guys are doing great. Well, today on this amazing lesson, we will be looking at how to truly go viral on YouTube. Yes. And this is going to be one of the most important lessons in this course. So if not the most important lesson, if you take away anything from this course, it is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this lesson. There is a science to going viral on YouTube. And I know a lot of people out there think that YouTube videos just go viral randomly, but no, that is no. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. So we are looking at how to truly go viral. And like I said, people think that YouTube videos just go viral randomly. But there's actually a science to go viral on YouTube. Now, I have never in my life seen a video not go viral on one or two channels that have actually implemented this particular factor that I'm going to be sharing with you. One is have a video that is about 10 minutes long. Two, having a high audience retention and uh, having a high click-through rate is another. Now, you might be asking what constitutes the high audience retention but i'm going to be getting into all that in a moment from now but you have to understand that videos on youtube do not just go viral by accident they go viral because they hit a certain number of factors and they do it better than any other video on that subject on youtube that's why they go viral so you don't have to be the best in this stuff you just have to be better than the next competitor so say there is a video on youtube on how to jump high and you title your video how to jump higher and say the video in the top search result has a million views and it is one of the only videos on youtube on how to jump higher but your video on how to jump higher youtube notices that it has a higher click-through rate and it has a higher audience retention it's longer than the original video which you copied from ideally over 10 minutes long then slowly over time youtube will start promoting your video more than that already popular video and your video will eventually overtake that video in the search position and it will take over that video in views and it will get suggested more all because it hits all these certain factors that YouTube is looking out for. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to tell if your video is hitting those factors and how you can diagnose what's going on through your videos so that you can improve your videos so they can hit these factors and go viral. Now, I'm going to be showing you what you guys should be looking out for. To do this, you're going to want to go into YouTube Studio and make sure you can get the better version of the YouTube Studio. You likely go to the default. So once you're here, you're going to want to go to your video manager and then you're going to want to diagnose each videos on your channel for the purpose of this example i'm going to be showing you the most popular videos on this particular channel this particular channel i'm using for instance which is how to make money on youtube without making videos six thousand dollar a week and as you can see it is getting a lot of views over 164 thousand views and this did not go viral on accident if you look at the videos here what you're going to want to do is select the video and then we're going to want to click analytics on the left hand side and this will in turn pull up the analytics for that video and then we're going to want to go to the search tab on that video which is right which is right at the top left hand side right here right next to the overall click reach and now this will bring up what is arguably or what is in my opinion the best graph given by youtube and the best analytics and if you could only look look at the one analytics within YouTube it is this so scroll down and take a look at this this pyramid structure right here on the right hand side now this pyramid structure shows you how impressions lead to watch time first of all what are impressions impressions on YouTube are when someone sees your video either in the search result or they see it in your suggested video tab when they see your video so an impression is not a view take note an impression is not a view the person did not yet click your video an impression is someone who just saw your video in either the search result or suggested videos or on the home page in the browse features for this given video 1.8 million people saw this video and out of those 1.8 million 5.8 percent of them clicked the video this is a click-through rate of 5.8 percent now you might be saying nah, that's not the best click-through rate in the world yet it still went viral this is just because you just have to be better than the next best video to perform better than it now and then out of the 5.8 percent 
that clicked it, that led to 103,000 views. And out of those 103,000 views, the average view duration was 4 minutes and 6 seconds. And that leads to the amount of watch time of 424,000 minutes of watch time. YouTube patronizes watch time because that is all they look for. That is the end goal of YouTube. That's why it is at the bottom of this funnel, this upside down pyramid right here. That's what YouTube looks for. And that is one of their number one factor. The number one factor is actually session time, which they don't show here. However, watch time is what they actually show you. So you can get an understanding of how well your video is performing. And another thing I want to point out is that when YouTube starts recommending your content, this bar right here at the top will fill up. So at the beginning, you would see the bar way over left hand side right there and you would only get some views from YouTube recommending your content to viewers but when your video actually starts performing well this bar will fill up and you would want to see this number get as high as possible so as you can see 89% of the traffic has come from YouTube recommending this person's content for absolutely free which he didn't pay any money from I'm very sure of that okay we will get into everything monetization related in the next module you, but this is truly how to go viral on YouTube. This is one of the important things you should be looking at in your YouTube analytics. So you can do this for every video and you can also do it on a channel wide basis. Now you want to get that click through rate as high as possible. So if you have a 10 minutes video and you have a high click through rate of 9% and then you have an average view duration of 7 minutes, which is 70% of the video, I guarantee you your video is going to get a lot of views. Now how can you actually actually increase your view duration and that's super simple so if you're on this video what you're going to want to do is go to the engagement tab and you can actually see your audience retention graph and if you click see more on this graph you can actually watch your video and look at points of high audience retention and then you can look when people drop off so you want to see the audience retention boosted right here why is that now, if you watched this video, it is because he started showing examples of different channels that were already succeeding on YouTube. So if, if you notice this work, why don't just make the entire video showing different example channel going viral on YouTube. So let's say you're making a video showing 10 channels that are just absolutely crushing it on YouTube. That will make a lot of audience retention charts go up and down. Okay. And that is what YouTube likes to see. They like to see that graph go up as much as possible and to keep people on that video as much as possible. Now you might be saying average percentage viewed uh, of only 36% isn't the best. And that's because YouTube started promoting promoting the content average view duration is going to go down the more YouTube promotes the content that's what happened here in this example because it's going to promote it to a broader audience that might not necessarily be as interested in your video but the summary of it is when you check this graph you get to know the aspect the area that retains your audience more and when you take a look at it you take note of that particular um, content in the video and expand on it that's just it because you now realize that this was what caught people's interest. So look for a point in your video in which the watch time spikes and figure out why it spiked and then figure out how you can incorporate those spikes in future videos. The only crush to this is if you have no video uploaded at all because you're not going to know how to improve on your videos. You're going to have no data to look at. This is why I recommend uploading 33 videos. Remember, we have a course on that. Even if the video are not good at first, you will have a data to look at. And the only way you will get that data is by uploading videos. So upload, upload and upload. I cannot stress it enough. Upload videos even if you don't think they are going to be good. Make sure to upload them. And as you can see, this is a watch time graph for the video here and this page uh, I'm using as an example and it takes some time for YouTube to realize that your video is performing better than all the other videos on YouTube so when YouTube starts realizing this it looks like it was uploaded around December looking at this YouTube started realizing this almost a month later and as you can see that's when YouTube completely blew it up and because of that it made this guy tons of money and it's gotten by tons of views a tons of subscribers to his channel 
channel and this and this has given him tons of views and tons of subscribers also all because it hit either of these factors so the secret of going viral on youtube to truly is to hit each of these different factors okay the high click through rate the average view duration and that resulting to a high amount of watch time i think something like 90 percent of youtube videos are between two and five percent click through rate so anything above a five percent click through rate is very good on youtube obviously the higher the better i think the highest click through rates i've ever seen is about 12 or 15 percent so play around with those thumbnails look at thumbnails of high performing videos on youtube make similar thumbnails to them to get your click through rate up uh, use similar titles that will drastically help you improve your click through rate and then get your average view duration up by going into your audience retention graph looking where people drop off your video cutting out parts like that and then putting more parts where the audience retention spiked on your video so that is how to truly go viral i'm going to be showing you guys some more super cool growth hack in this module and you guys are going to be getting tons of value from it all right so that's all for this youtube course don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video don't forget if you are looking for a highly productive video course that will help you grow your youtube channel from start to finish and make money for yourself all you need to do is go to the description below and click on the link to purchase the course and trust me you'll never regret doing that thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video see you in the next video course